Hi everyone, my name is Cyrus, and today we'll be going over how to create an SSH key for your new VPS or Enterprise account using a Macintosh computer. I will be using the Pagely documentation as a reference, but I have conveniently created a list of steps we'll need to take to complete our task ahead of us. Uh, we'll go click on Finder, Applications, Utilities, and open our terminal application to start. Once that's open, we'll go on to the next step, which is to basically list all of the files in a certain directory. It's basically checking if there's already a public and private key that we want to generate. There isn't one, so we go ahead and try to generate it with this command. The only thing you'll obviously need to change is the email address, and then you can hit enter. And it'll ask us if we want to change the file path or the name of the file. In this case, there is no other public and private key, and there's no real reason to change the file path, so we just hit enter without typing anything. But there is a reason to have a passphrase. Passphrases are good, so go ahead and add that one. Once we add a passphrase, it's created. We go into the next step. Looking good. Then we want to add it to our keychain. Before we add it to our keychain, it'll prompt us for a passphrase. Bravo, I remembered mine. We're almost there. Now, uh, we want to edit this file, this config file in the .ssh directory. If you look at the documentation, it just says touch and then the path to the config file. Touch will just uh, create the file without adding anything to it. It'll be an empty file. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to create it because I'm assuming you don't have that much command line experience. I'm going to use this text editor called vim. So I type instead of touch, I type vim and then the rest of the command is the same. I hit I, which allows me to insert or start typing. And I go back to Sublime or the documentation. I copy this host space example.com and then on the next page, uh, next line, excuse me, forward agent ES. Uh, you want to change example.com with your VPS IP address. This will allow your keys to be forwarded to the server whenever you connect to it. And then you hit escape and then hold shift semicolon, which creates a colon in the lower space W Q and then hit enter. This saves it and closes it out. Last step is a Macintosh trick PB copy. It's similar to highlighting something and holding command C. It basically copies our IDRSA public key to our clipboard. And now we're done with the terminal for now. And we'll go up here. We'll look at add SSH keys to your page the account documentation. And it basically tells us where to add the SSH key in our dashboard. So we'll log into our atomic dashboard. We'll go down here to where it says page the custom SSH configuration. And keep in mind this account is a collaborator. for it to load and then the right hand side where it says your public key you want to click in there and hold command V to paste our public key right there let me just go ahead and hit upload key and we're done